my poverty and to the day there is none other boy but he died up in Peru the same subsisting A pledge is a symbol of fraternity, unity, and resemblance to more values of our eternal culture. So here we have Ode with a school pledge. Get ready for the pledge. I pledge before God, whom I love and worship, to be a worthy student of my school and abide by its rules, to love and respect my parents and teachers and follow their guidance. To consider all the people of the world as my brothers and sisters, for we are all creations of one God, to work for the cause of world peace and happiness of the people, to de develop my mind in sciences and arts, and to let my religion guide me in my actions, to devote my talent to the service of humanity, for by the service shall I truly serve my Lord, to show sincerity trustworthiness and perseverance in all that I undertake to do, to strive always for excellence in greater heights or achievements in my studies and try to grasp hundred percent knowledge of all my prescribed subjects, to uphold the motto of Jajagat at all time for truly I am a citizen of the world. Thank you and Jajagat. Thoughts are an important aspect of humanity. Arabic allows us time to process ideas and to reflect on our decisions. Good quotes makes us optimistic, energetic, ready to set goals and take actions. So now I would like to call Priyanshu for delivering the thought of the day. Good morning, good afternoon and welcome everyone. And the the thought of the day is to accomplish great things we must not only act but also dream not only plan but also believe thank you virtue is considered as a foundation for a living well and a key ingredient to greatness it is a moral excellence of a person human virtue form the soul with habits of mind and will that support the moral behavior so now I would like to invite my friend Ishan to deliver the virtue. Thank you, Vedansh. The virtue for the day is honesty. Honesty is the first chapter in the book of wisdom. No legacy is so rich as honesty. Thank you. Religion is the clearest telescope through which we can behold the beauties of creation. It brings to man an inner spirit, ineffable peace, and a spiritual life. So, now, I would like to call the Panjali to enlighten us with the religious passage. Good afternoon, and am Jagat, everyone. Don't worry, God is never blind to your tears, never deaf to your prayers, and never silent to your pain. He sees, he hears, and he will deliver. Says Christianity. Thank you. One day, a young boy asked his father, What is the value of his life? Instead of answering, the father told his son to take this rock and go sell it at a market. If anybody asks the price, raise two fingers and don't say anything. The boy then went to the market, and a woman asked, How much is this rock? I want to put it in my garden. The boy didn't say anything and raised up two fingers. And the woman said, Two dollars? I'll take it. And the boy went home and told his father, A woman wants to buy this rock for two dollars. The father then said, Son, I want you to take this rock to a museum. If anybody wants to buy it, don't say a word, and just put up two fingers. 
The boy then went to the museum, and a man wanted to buy the rock. The boy didn't say a word and put up two fingers. And the man said, two hundred dollars? I'll take it. The boy was shocked and went running home. Father, a man wants to buy this rock for two hundred dollars. His father then said, son, the last place I want you to take this rock is to a precious stone store. Show it to the owner and don't say a word. And if he asks the price, just put up two fingers. The son then went to a precious stone store. He showed the rock to the owner. Where did you find this stone? It is one of the most rarest stones in the world. I must have it. How much would you sell it for? The boy put up two fingers. And the man said, I'll take it for $200,000. The boy, not knowing what to say, ran home to his father. Father, there's a man that wants to buy the rock for $200,000. His father then said, Son, do you know the value of your life now? You see, it doesn't matter where you come from, where you were born, the color of your skin, or how much money you were born into. It matters where you decide to place yourself, the people you surround yourself with, and how you choose to carry yourself. You may have lived your whole life thinking that you were a $2 stone, you may have lived your whole life surrounded by people that saw your worth only for two dollars. But everybody has a diamond inside of them. And we can choose to surround ourselves with people that see our value and see the diamond inside of us. We can choose to put ourselves in a market or put ourselves in a precious stone store. And you can also choose to see the value in other people. You can help other people see the diamond inside of them. Choose the people you surround yourself with wisely. That can make all the difference in your life. Believe in life. Wake up every morning with the wonder of just being alive. Explore and embrace life in yourself. Let a little spark burst out of you, as well as kindle inside you. For this is the real essence of humanity. Very true. So, as we all know that rhythm and rhyme can make anything amazing, so to support this beautiful thought of Shishti, now I would like to invite my friend Vidushi to recite a poetry for all of us. Thank you, Vedansh. I would like to express my views through the poem titled Keep Moving On. You're the author of your life. So if you feel you can't go, don't put a full stop on it. Battle through it and hope. You could just give up, but instead choose to fight. Battle in the darkness until you see that winning light. Don't leave a short story with words of your pain, but a story of a strength and the things you can gain. Just take that first step. And be strong in each hour. Carry on your story and be proud of your part. Thank you. That was really motivating, Vidushi. Jai Jagat and good afternoon to everyone present here. Tough times happen to all of us, no matter how strong or powerful or confident we are. Tough times will come, causing us to crumble. As mighty as we can feel one day, we feel just as lost and scared the next. I don't say this to cause fear. I say it because it's the truth. So now I would like Aditi to express his views. Thank you. Thank you, Umi. I agree to your thought. But the amazing thing about life is, as long as you are breathing, you still have a chance. Just do not do so. Yes. We should be stronger than a strongest excuse. So now I would like to invite my friend Devanshi to extend her views. Thank you, Vedansh. To support your thought, I would like to quote the speech of Martin Luther King Jr. I quote, this is the most important and crucial period of your life. For what you do now and what you decide at this age, 
may well determine which way your life shall go. And the question is whether you have a proper, a solid, and a sound blueprint. Some of the things that should be in your life's blueprint are number one, is a deep belief in your own dignity and your own worth. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you're nobody. Always feel that you count and always feel that your life has an ultimate significance. Secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have as a basic principle determination to achieve excellence. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a tree, just be a tree. If you can't be the sun, be a star. Be the best of whatever you are. Well, life for none of us has been a crystal stair, but we must keep moving. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. I unquote, thank you. That was really motivating, Devanshi. So smile and keep moving on. Everything will be fine. The following informational message is brought to you by Sagebrush. If you want to live a life of integrity, please follow these special instructions. Admit when you are wrong. Be the first to forgive. Be the first to stand when everyone else sits down. Do what is right, even when no one else does. Say no when people are trying to get you to do something you know you shouldn't. Tell the truth and accept the consequences. Stand up for something you believe in, even though it might mean rejection or ridicule. Defend someone who is considered unpopular or unacceptable. When faced with a limitation, give your very best, regardless of pain or discomfort. Confront a fear without running away. Give sacrificially to protect or promote either someone you love, someone who has been wronged, or someone in need. If you follow these special instructions, you will be on track to live a life of integrity. Thank you for listening. Now, I would like Dipanjali to add on. Thank you, Vidushi. Living things either die or grow, but it never stays the same. For example, a tree might be 100% alive today, but if you do not water it regularly, its lifespan eventually decreases and one day it will become dead. In the same way, we also have to keep on growing to increase our courage, strength and self. Otherwise, we will also die slowly from inside. I will now like my friend Harshita to elaborate on this. Thank you, Dipanjali. I strongly believe that it does not matter where we are in life. What matters is we have to keep on moving forward to grow in life. If we don't change, we don't grow. And if we don't grow, we are not really living. That is absolutely true, Harshita. We must own our life. It's never too late. Never too late to do, to say, to achieve, and to start being you. Never let self fabricated invisible boundaries stop you from doing anything you feel capable of doing. And even when you think you might not be capable, just give it a shot. You will surprise yourself. I guarantee. True, Nikki is, all life is an experiment. The more experiment you make, the better show. With this thought, with this thought, let us all witness a science-based experiment.
Good morning and jai jagat to all of you present here. I am Adarsh Kumar and today I am going to show you a vanishing point experiment. So let's get started. The materials required are two drinking glasses, two coins, and some amount of water. So let's begin. First, I will fill both the glasses with water. Now I will uh, put the first coin into the first glass and the second coin under the second glass. And here, see the magic. The second coin under the second glass has disappeared. Now you would you would like to know how has the coin disappeared? Thank you, Adarsh, for your question. Now I will explain you why did the coin disappear. This happens because of refraction of light. Images that we see are all light rays that reach our eyes. When this light rays travel through air, they experience little or no refraction. That's why we can still see the coin through the side of the glass. But when this light rays travel to the side of the glass and the water, they are refracted. That is, these rays bend and never reaches our eyes, which makes the coin seems to disappear. Thank you. Yash is not here because of some network issues. I would request you all to kindly continue. We may please kindly continue after Yash. Well said, yes. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Everything in life is a reflection that we made. Our greater weakness lies in giving certain and the most certain way to succeed is just to try one more time. Now I would like my friend Anika to elaborate her views. Thank you so much, Prakhar. Now, I would like to bring into notice the inspiring thoughts of Oprah Winfrey. I quote, I'm asking the bigger question, who am I? Who am I really? My answer is, I'm God's child. I'm a spiritual being having human experience. And what do I want? I don't want just to be successful in the world. I just don't want to make a mark or have a legacy. My answer is, I want to fulfill the highest, the truest expression of myself as a human being. I want to fulfill the promise of the creator that he dreamt when he made the cells that created me. You must have some kind of vision for your life. Even if you do not know the plan, you have to have a direction in which you choose to go. You have to be in the driver's seat of your own life because if you are not, life will drive you be excellent let excellence be your brand and when you are excellent you become unforgettable so doing the right things even if nobody knows it will always bring the right things to you because the third law of motion is always at work i unquote thank you Due to some network issue, Hamza is not here, so I'm going to take over his part. 
Very well said, Anika. Right now, the atmosphere here seems to be filled with the air of inspiration. So, let us all now enjoy the hidden language of the soul through the medium of dance. motivating hope and positivity not only makes a tough situation more bearable but can help because envisioning a better future motivates us to take the steps to make it happen having hope links our past and the present to the future 